Once again, we're back with another banger, man. Oda dropped another banger, bro. Continuing on from the crazy fight that we had last week. Jesus, twice, man. This man Oda is in his bag once again. We're here with One Piece chapter 1064. I think it's 64. I ain't going to lie because we're not from 63rd. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm just saying. But today, yo, we got Law versus Blackbeard for most of the chapter, bro. And that's really what I'm going to talk about, man. This is this probably going to be a short one. You know what I'm saying? You ain't going to get you ain't going to get a 10, 15 minute joint from me today. Because I'm, I ain't going to lie. I'm one take drinking it. I ain't going to lie. Y'all know me, bro. <laughs> you feel me? But before we get into the chapter review, though, if y'all need a link to the chapter, make sure that you go to my Discord link. It'll be in the description. Also, it'll be in the pinned comment. Go to the announcements channel. I repeat the announcements channel. And there you'll get a link to the chapter so you can follow along or read, come back, watch after either or, man. Because I know y'all be like, Sin, where's the link? Where's the link? Please, please. I got y'all. Let's get it. So listen, man. Law is him. I feel like at this point, we have to have this discussion. Now, earlier today, you know, by the time y'all hear this, I put some tweets out talking about how I have Law over Zoro right now. Now, a lot of people got mad at me. Well, Sin, why is everybody always got to compare everybody to Zoro? Why Zoro? Bro, it has nothing to do with Zoro hate. I love Zoro. Y'all know I love Zoro. Clearly, if you go back and look at my discography on my channel, it's a lot of Zoro vids because he's the GOAT. But that's why I use him, bro. It's just like when somebody's power scaling and they use Goku. Well, he, is he stronger than Goku? It's because Goku was the bar. That's the bar, bro. And if you pass that bar, then you're him. And Zoro is the bar for swordsmen. I know most of y'all probably be like, well, isn't Mihawk this no he's the pinnacle of swordsman zoro was the bar like if you're not over zoro at least or like at least relative to zoro you're a bum to me like at this point in the story not saying that there aren't people strong that aren't as strong as zoro clearly but i'm talking about end game stuff here so that's why i use zoro all the time in these conversations because zoro is the bar for swordsman he's going to be the world's strongest swordsman so he's the bar and i feel like right now law's bag is deep so we get into this fight, bro. First off, hold on. Scratch that. Scratch that. Before we even get into the Law and Blackbeard situation, can we talk about Gene Bart, though? My man Gene Bart going crazy. Now, I ain't gonna lie. Shout out to my homie Trip At Trip don't miss on Twitter. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all go follow him. You know what I'm saying? That's my guy. A long time ago, he was talking about how in Dress Rosa, also excuse the cars in the background, that Gene Bart punched the bridge and went crazy. Now, everybody made a meme out of it. Oh, Gene Bridge, Gene Bridge. He bridge level. You know what I'm saying? But this chapter, my man Gene Bart jumped in the way of Van Auger's attack. You know what I'm saying? Come on, bro. He ate that. It was yummy. Yo, he ate that up, bro. Like Yoshi for real. Now, I ain't gonna lie. Y'all probably gonna be, y'all hate on Gene Bart. You know what I'm saying? And talk about how Law's crew suck. But Gene Bart was doing his thing. And so was Law. Now, we had a battleship battle. Like, I ain't gonna lie. We want to see with it. But Law is so smart. He realizes, hey, man, I'm outnumbered here. I'm outpowered. I'm outmanned, outmaneuvered. Well, not outmaneuvered because he's really the maneuver dude. But outmanned, you feel me? And he realizes that they're all devil fruit users. Akuma no me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> shout, shout out to TCB. You know what I'm saying? But uh, all of these people are devil fruit users, bro, when they're on the sea. And he knows that the sea is their weakness. But but my point is, yo, my man Law is going to be like, yo, how can I defeat these people? And their crew is just like more powerful than my crew. Well, they're devil fruit users. I can use the sea. I have a submarine. This man has a whole submarine. So what does he try to do? Sink their ship. And what does Blackbeard do? Like a dumbass. Keeps charging ahead. Van Auger's even like, yo, Blackbeard, yo, maybe we should like back up some. Like, think about this a little bit. Maybe we should like come up with a better plan. You know what I mean? <laughs> like they try to talk him down off this ledge he's on. Blackbeard is like, no, bro. He's careless. He does not care. It's like he's so he's like the smartest dumb dude I know in the show. Like he's so smart. Like he is very strategic when it comes to like uh not even strategic, but I guess opportunistic. Why did I say that like that? Opportunistic. Like I, I sounded that out so crazy. But he's like an opportunist. He picks the best times to attack. It's like, uh, you know how cats, they be on the prowl and they stalk and they pray, they stalk and they wait and they wait and then they pounce. 
That's kind of what Blackbeard does, and he's like the best at that in the series to me. So he picks very opportune times to attack people, but for some reason, this time, I don't think he took into account the fact that they're on sea, bro, with a bunch of logs. <laughs> Ship is a bunch of logs, bro. So Law takes that, you know, and uses it to kind of twist things in his favor. He maneuvers the fight around the sea because the devil fruit users, he knows if he sinks their ship and they go on the water, they're done. Now, shout out to, yo, come on with the cars, bro. <sighs> shout out to um Triple Three V I L. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Evil on one uh I said on One Piece on YouTube. <laughs> he has a One Piece YouTube, One Piece Twitter. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to him. Um, he was saying that this is gonna be the opportunity for Oda to show the whole Kraken theory is real and that uh Blackbeard has a Kraken type type beat. You feel me? Octopus type beat. You know what I'm saying? Type drunk. I ain't gonna lie, yo. If Blackbeard ends up an octopus, bro, for real, that's going to be crazy. I ain't going to lie. Y'all got to just go sub to him off of that alone, bro. If y'all don't go sub to him after he came up with this theory, bro, and it's true like that, an octopus, because who would have thought? Because if this man Blackbeard's about to sink, but he doesn't die because he's a goddamn octopus, if he turns into an octopus, bro, I'm going to lose my shit. I'm going to lose it. If this man turned to Ursula from Little Mermaid, I'm going to lose it, bro. I swear to I swear to God, I'm 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 gonna lose my shit. But shout out to him though. I had to bring that up because that was fire. I think the most important thing to look at here for me in terms of power scaling is the fact that Law is him, and we have to start giving that man his flowers. I I, I called him a Yonko on Twitter, and everybody's like, he's not a Yonko, duh, nigga. Clearly, clearly he's not a named Yonko. I'm not an idiot. Like, <laughs> but. I told someone I don't think they're reading the story and he's like bro it doesn't say he's Yanko anywhere in the story and I'm like yes I understand that but I'm talking about reading as far as narrative like he has the same bounty as Luffy and Kid and he has a weaker crew than both clearly they look at him as a Yanko tier combatant if not he wouldn't have that bounty it just is what it is I don't know like people think that oh bounty doesn't equal strength yes i know that but nigga it matters when your bounty's three billion it matters bro you don't get like a three billion bounty and just be like oh you're not really him for real he's really like first commander level no he's not that's an idiotic take <laughs> like, clearly he can combat against yanko because he's doing it right now he's done it with big mom yeah kid was there but he still is fighting blackbeard and his whole crew there's other things that go into strength, bro. IQ is so important. His bag with his devil fruit is so important. These cars outside are so not important. I swear to God, I hate them. But I don't know, bro. This chapter was fire, though. I'm giving this like an eight and a half, nine out of 10, yo. This is a banger. I want to know what y'all give it. Again, if you need a chapter link, it'll be in my Discord in the announcements channel. Make sure y'all join the Discord. That link will be in the description and in pinned comment. And as always, I hope y'all are staying safe and healthy during these trying times. This has been Sensei Inc. And I will see you all in the next video.